Good morning. This morning we read from uh, 1st John chapter 2 verse 12 down to verse 27. The first few verses appear to be a poem or a hymn. I'm writing to you dear children because your sins have been forgiven. I'm writing to you fathers. I'm writing to you young men. Repeats it the second time though slightly different at the young man verse. It speaks to, the, to us of those who have just come to faith. Your sins have been forgiven. You've just come to faith, you know the Father. To those who are mature in the faith, I'm writing to you fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. You've known him. You've built a strong relationship with him. I'm writing to you young men, those between children and fathers. You've overcome the evil one. You're strong because the word of God lives in you. Whatever stage we are of the Christian life, God is still speaking to us, still dealing with us, still encouraging us, still motivating us to live for him. So whether you're in the children category, know your sins are forgiven, you know the Father. If you're in the very mature category, you've known him for a long time. And if you're in the middle category, you are fighting the battles of faith, continue to grow in the Lord. Don't love the world or anything in it, this world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up for somewhere beyond the blue. We don't love the world, we love God. We love him and his kingdom above the things of this world. Then he warns about antichrists, and by antichrists he means those who are preaching false doctrine. He's not speaking of one particular person, because he says even though many antichrists have come. And... Uh, they, they're preaching various types of false doctrine. They came into the church, they misunderstood or misrepresented the message for whatever motivation. And then they left and took others with them. Um, some denied the deity of Christ. Some denied that he is the anointed one, the Messiah of the Jews. And uh, John says that those who deny such things have no part of us. Um, we stay in the truth as the Lord draws us to himself. And we have this inner witness. We are not dependent upon our teachers, but we are dependent upon the Holy Spirit who fills us and remains in us. He teaches us about all things. So we hear all kinds of things. How do we judge what is right and what is wrong? We look for the leading of the Spirit through the Word of God. We check that which we hear and the Holy Spirit confirms his Word to us as we read and study and listen together. We have this great promise of eternal life and this is what he promised us eternal life. So then we don't need the things of this world and so like he said earlier, do not love the world or anything in it, because we have an eternal kingdom. Not the temporary things of this world, but the things that are eternal, everlasting, not just long lasting. We praise God as we seek to serve him. Amen. <laughs>